This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. Hi, this is Ben from Heart Internet, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to connect to your website using FTP, allowing you to upload files and also download from it. Now, for example, you'll need FTP should you wish to upload a new website to your Heart Internet web hosting account, or to simply add additional files or make alterations to your existing ones. So to get started, you'll need to log into the customer area of Heart Internet. Click the customer login button. If you're already logged in, you'll be taken straight to the customer area. And if not, you'll be prompted to enter your username and password. Now all the FTP access information is located within your Extend control panel. Now to access Extend, simply select the website you wish to access via FTP from the drop down menu here. Okay, once Extend has loaded, you can find the default FTP access information for your website under the FTP details section within the sidebar, and that's just here. Now this section contains all the required login information needed to access your website. You have the username, the password, which you can click to reveal, it's hidden just for security purposes, uh, the server name, and also the server IP should you need it. You will then take this information to set up a new account within your FTP client. Now if I switch to my FTP client, you'll find an account that I've already set up using this information within my Extend Control Panel. And then if I try to connect to it, like so, okay, I've got a login failed message come up. Now this doesn't necessarily mean I've entered the details incorrectly, but what it actually does mean is Heart Internet have added an additional security feature called FTP locking. Now we highly recommend only unlocking your FTP access when you need to, and locking FTP when you are finished, as leaving FTP access open can increase the chances of your website being compromised, so it's always best practice to open it when need to, and close it when you're done. So, in order to access this website, we'll first need to unlock FTP for this account. To do this, go back to your Extend Control Panel and scroll up to the section within the sidebar called Unlock FTP, just here. Now if your FTP requirements are minimal and only require a single or a few file transfers, we always recommend unlocking FTP for just one hour. But depending on your workload, you may need FTP unlock for longer periods such as a four hour or single day. And we also have the option for seven days or 28 days. Now, purely based on security concerns, we never recommend using anything over one day. Now in this demonstration, my FTP requirements are pretty minimal. So I'm going to unlock FTP just for one hour. Once you're happy, click the unlock button. You will get the notice saying FTP is currently unlocked and will be aut automatically locked in 60 minutes. So now that I've unlocked FTP, and I've set up my account within my FTP client, I should now be able to successfully connect to my website. So if we pop back to my FTP client, and we'll try connecting again, and there we go, we're straight in. I've now successfully connected to my web space. I should now be able to upload files and also download from it. And now I can simply transfer the files as I need to. Like so. My file has successfully been uploaded. Now, if you don't need FTP open for the full hour, then once you are finished, you can always go back into Extend and click the Lock FTP Now button. Just there. And I always highly recommend doing this. Okay, now that concludes this tutorial on how to access your website using FTP and transfer files to and from it. Many thanks for watching.